Hey everyone, it's been a minute since I've uploaded anything about the 69Z50. Couple changes here. One, I got a fancy new uh, camera set up, so that should help things. And two, is this beast right here, uh, new be beer fridge in the garage, which is gonna help things tremendously. Uh, I had COVID, so that took a little bit of my time, but managed to get her all apart, except for the neck, this is a QA. 50 neck I, I'm, I'm not super familiar with it but we'll get that apart uh the engine here is the one i got from dc the seats from dc the tanks from dc uh the engine i got out and it is just a chunk of solid solid rust i've never given up on an engine but i think this might be one that i give up on and these wheels gave me a hell of a fight just to get them off. So I'm not looking forward to finding out why this doesn't spin. Hope it's nothing major. Uh, but I got to get these wheels spinning. It's a it's lubed up. <laughs> I thought I was going to fight that, which means it is a brake issue. I got those off. I'm going to get them, you know, apart now. Uh, my goal for this, by the end of this video, I hope to have new tires, new tubes, and, and uh, painted wheels, and maybe even put it back on for a roller. Before I do anything to it, as far as painting or get anything going, I'll get, the, I'll get her back up and running, and uh, it'll be a pretty sweet little kind of rat bike. So I'm going to go into seeing how the, the beads come off, how the tires come apart, which I'm sure will be an adventure uh, that we'll all share together. This was a disaster trying to get the, someone welded these on. I don't know if that's factory, I doubt it, but I can't separate the two until I can get that off, the sprocket off, and then the hub through. So this is going to complicate things over here. I like to get it get it in here, the vise in between, just under the, the rim. I screwed these rims up a little bit on my old one because I was prying too hard. So I was just letting the vise do the work and I went all the way around, spraying a little liquid wrench just to kind of get the, hmm, the, the rust all lubricated and just used to moving. So this is the front wheel, the back wheel is still a mess, but I uh, just want to show you how I was doing that and this really helped a lot getting these old beads off the rims. These will clean up real nice. They're true. Um, I'll, you know, wire wheel them, get them all painted up, get new rubber, new tube, and these things will look beautiful. All right, easy. So a little embarrassed. Last night I thought these were, I thought someone welded these nuts on because I couldn't, there was like, I don't know, it's just dirty. Cleaned it up this morning and realized it was just a, what, what is that called? Something to hold the, the, locking tab. The, the locking tab to hold the nuts so they don't come off when you're riding down the street. But this makes it a lot easier. We'll get this off, get this all cleaned up. All right, so we got very patiently worked around the outside of the wheel, just kind of loosening it. You'll hear kind of noises like that just before it eventually pops out. but. This thing's been on probably 50 years, 49, 50 years. So that bead is gonna be almost rust welded to the inside of it. And this, like I said, this is my worst part about restoring old bikes is just breaking these beads. You can see what happens. This is like one of about five times these hands have been like this, but you have to be very careful because this is not as thick of metal as you think. And every time you pry, or put any weight on it, you can warp those and get those out around and that's not what you want. You can see it doesn't take long before it starts becoming something really nice and you get that metal shine back in it. And depending on how far you wanna go, right, this is what it started as I did the other side. That is, absolutely gorgeous and I just did a little rub with that for a second and this will all shine up this, this is mostly just a 
lot of the grime comes right off and these things shine back up to new and so you don't have to buy a new one it takes a little elbow grease and time especially on the rear sprocket where all the grease is but man these things the grease actually protects the, the metal or aluminum and this thing's gonna shine right up really nice so I'll show you what it's like when it's done some brand new rubber tubes I'm gonna make these things look real nice things got a little out of hand when Bryce comes over we got we ended up getting into the QA50 front end getting the, the forks off we're gonna now we're gonna have to redo those redo the ball bearings which I wanted to do just not yet but they're gonna be there we looked into the cylinder with the boroscope do you see it let's take a look here Bryce actually got this apart which I've been worried about these were completely stuck together and I got the sprocket off and then back on cleaned up a little bit still gonna clean that up some more so still gonna get the wheels painted gotta go get some stuff for that all right this is how far i wanted to get this with the new wheels everything's original same uh same rims same everything i uh, got those going and i was just going to put it on to make a roller but because bryce was here and always we do a little bit more than we think we took away the neck we took apart the neck uh in the fork structure and and looked at the at the suspension and the ball bearings and everything just needs a good cleaning and we're gonna get that all straightened away get that up and then I'll be able to put the wheels on and make a roller so that's what I'm gonna do now cleaned out and then repack it in there with nice fresh grease like look at this this is all supposed to be nice loose viscous grease and it's uh basically one solid so that's never good we'll get that cleaned up just the act of unscrewing something even if you don't do anything to it on an old bike is restoring it just making sure those parts still move making sure that you're still able to you know it's still able to do what it's supposed to do which is tighten and loosen you know just just that even if you don't do anything else but go through and make sure everything works as it should you're restoring a bike in my opinion and uh, i'll lube this all up good it, lube it up real good clean off the ball bearings place them in the thick lube bottom and top and then reattach the neck all right See how nasty these bottoms are they're just I don't know if you can see them but they're they're all grimy and everything just did a little trick on the top that I like I sprayed some brake cleaner in the bag right and then just rubbed them around a little bit in the liquid made sure they're getting friction on each other in a nice bath of that brake clean which degunks everything and then I'll show you what it looks like when I dumped them out see you in six hours ah, see ya and then you dump them out bye see you guys all nice and clean see this is butter that is that feels amazing glad i did that
<sighs> there she is. Okay. Here she is. A lot more done than I expected, meaning that the whole front end bearings are repacked, both upper and lower. The fork, the forks are, uh, and the suspension are, are done. I'm gonna get some boots for it here. Uh, I have the throttle assembly ready. The wheels are looking good. We have a rolling chassis, which I believe is first step of four steps. You get the rolling chassis, and then the second step is you get the, uh, it's, you know, braking on its own, you know, front brake, back brake, and then you put the engine in. And then the last step, of course, is uh, connecting the chain, which makes a, a, just a regular, you know, machine. It turns it into a machine. It makes just something that makes noise to makes it actually do something when you connect that chain to that sprocket. It's actually an amazing time. So this is what I got so far. It's what I was hoping to get. Uh, this weekend Memorial Day weekend, so I think we're gonna be on track for a very special plan that I have With this bike in the next couple weeks and you'll find that out in the next video But I got far enough where I think that's actually in the card. So hope you enjoyed it This was uh, a lot harder than it looks just getting these wheels on getting them fixed getting them just getting them off and the bead broken and you know just a lot of elbow grease, but uh, this is a big part of getting this bike running so stay tuned for a exciting announcement on what we're going to do with this one on um, in a few days awesome thanks remember like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this and uh, uh, i'm going to keep going on this one so hope you enjoy it